All right, hello out there. This is part two, the reassembly. Hope you enjoy it.
I just uh, rinse this off with water, clean it up thoroughly. Now I'm going to grease it and then put it back in the boat. Show ya. This is what I use. It's regular plumber's grease. I know you should probably use marine grease, you know, some white waterproof stuff, but nothing's waterproof. It's a myth. So, just blotch it on there a little bit. Don't want to go too crazy with it because you can always add more. Boink. And then, you should probably wear gloves, but I never do. Smart, I know. And then get it, get it in there. There we go. All right, now in there. And as I put it in, I rotate it. I spin it a lot. Make sure it uh, it gets all up in there. Maybe take it back out, get that excess back on the shaft. And it's all the way in. my 10 and my 9 again so you can see the shaft slide it out slide it in what I'd like to do is usually like put like my leg up against the prop to make sure it, it stays all the way up there use your hand snug and then use the wrench to tighten it. And there we go. You can see it rotate. And then get your plastic piece. And we're back in business. Alright, let's load up the remote. Four double A's. Got a green light. Get my uh, my two cells. I'm not gonna strap them in right now. There's just no point in that. Alrighty, now let's check the servo, get that out of the way. Sweet. Next, for that motor. And reverse. Perfect. Let's take a look at that, uh, that prop. Oh, yeah. All right. And the last but not least, the hatch.
There we go. Well, that was part two of the reassembly of my Traxxas M41. Hope you guys liked it. And uh, hopefully you stuck around for all the video. <laughs> if not, it's alright. I don't blame you. It's kind of boring. But uh, until then, uh, stay safe out there and have a good one.